Hello everyone, um, in this video I'm just going to cover how to install your Steinberg UR22 Mark II with voice meter banana or any other USB audio interface that supports ASIO drivers. Alrighty, now this is voice meter banana here. I'll provide a download link in the description. I have gone much more in, in depth into this program uh, in previous videos. So you can go ahead and check them out if you don't know what you're looking at here. But in this video, we're just gonna cover the actual um, input of my USB audio, audio interface. Alrighty, so the first thing you want to do is you wanna go ahead and get your USB driver for your specific device. Um, mine is the Steinberg, so I've gone ahead and navigated to the page here already. Um, there is Sorry, this is the first page you'll see. Uh, there is a firmware update too, if you have a brand new device, was released in 2017. But anyway, grab that if you don't have it. Um, I've already installed that. Um, click on USB driver on this page. You'll see this, install that. It's gonna prompt you to restart your PC. Now, once you've restarted, come back. Um, in voice meter banana when you click here you should see an asio device pop up which you wouldn't have previously seen with just the default windows drivers um click on that i'm not going to click it now because it'll reset everything um so click on that make sure that is selected as one of your hardware outputs this is on my stream pc so i don't have a lot that's actually the only audio device plugged into it at the moment so but yeah, make sure you've got audio selected somewhere, ASIO selected somewhere there, not audio. Um, then what you wanna do is head into your system settings. Now you'll see here, patch um, A1, main device, patch ASIO inputs to strips in one. So when it says in one, that is this here. That is hardware input one. Now what this is doing, this one and one here, so my actual line in onto the um, Steinberg is on channel one. I don't have anything plugged into channel two. So instead of clicking mono down here and having it mirrored, I've actually made it. So my physical hardware channel one is being fed into both strips on voice meters um, hardware input one. So if I turn this to two, there's nothing on two. So you're only gonna hear me in the right ear. If I go back to one, you'll hear me again, same again, nothing on two, or if I've just got it in one, I could click mono um, to solve that, which is basically going to mirror either strip to the other strip. Um, it's essentially the same thing, but for whatever reason, I have just decided to do it this way for now. So I've just got, yeah, inch um, hardware input one, um, channel one and channel one in both strips. Voila. Alrighty. Now, you're, if you've just installed the driver, you're probably seeing 44.1K Hertz as the default sample rate. You can leave it at that. However, everything else I already had set up with 48K Hertz as my preferred sample rate. So I've gone ahead and forced it into that uh, sample rate. So you see here, You've got two options. You've got use default ASIO sample rate or use preferred sample rate. So what this does, if you leave it as default, it's gonna be 44.1K as the sample rate. I'm not gonna change that now in case it um, messes up my audio, um, but I've got it on use preferred sample rate. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna take my preferred main sample rate, which I changed after I installed voice meter and I've made that 44.1K Hertz. So that's forced it to that. Um, once you actually do that, you have if you go into your sound properties in Windows and actually click on the Steinberg line device, it becomes the line in device. You'll see here, it was grayed out the whole time, but this was actually locked to 44.1 and I couldn't change it. Um, but when I made this change in voice meter, it's obviously got exclusive rights over it, but it's changed it in Windows as well. So I didn't actually have to do that, but you can double check that's changed too. Um, the other thing I've done is I've changed the buffering. 
So I have gone ahead, so you can't quite see that. Um, yeah, so there's default right down the bottom. For some reason, that's just cut off on the screen here. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, default. I have gone down and clicked on 128 samples, which is the lowest. Uh, I'm not sure what the default value actually is, but I've gone and selected 128 and I haven't had any issues at all. Um, I'd recommend probably just leaving it on default for a while and make sure everything's everything's working as intended. But yeah, that is all I have changed there. So as you can see back in the main screen, so on hardware input one, we have A1, A0 input, in brackets one plus one which is mean it has my hardware input one on both strips that's all it's telling us here so if you previously had something selected um, remove device selection you do not want to use the wdm drivers or anything um, there can be some conflicts and you'll get a much lower latency just using exclusively those azo drivers um, yeah, you can right click up here and I've just named it the actual mic that I'm using Hit enter that that's just for your own own purposes if you want to know what each um, input is um, Apart from that That is all you can still use this with VBAN. I use VBAN across the two PCs um, It takes it takes whatever's feeding into your hardware input not not the device you've actually selected here um yeah that is all guys hopefully this helped you out if you've been struggling and sort of bit in over your head and you don't know how to set this up i obviously i didn't know for a while i was using that wdm driver here um until someone pointed out there's a much better way to do it and uh here we are thanks for watching once again, hope this helped. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you want to see some more videos, um, hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, I will see you guys out there. Bye.